via Skype, getting Skype bombed by people calling and trying to get through to him. That all happened inside the courtroom. Anyway, uh, here we our jury's deliberating our bold question. Was George Zimmerman playing cop the night of the killing? Our jury will deliver a verdict on that momentarily. But in the meantime, here's what people are saying online. Was Zimmerman a wannabe cop? Only 21% say yes. 79% saying no. Resounding decision. Sounds good for the defense. And, yeah. and I wonder, you know, of those 79%, do they feel he was just being a good citizen, a good neighbor, and would they want him in yeah. their neighborhood? Yeah. You know, the question becomes, where do you draw the line? He's using the lingo. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, he's this wannabe. But I bet a lot of people out there say, yeah, he's using the lingo. He believes in it, and he's doing what he can for his neighborhood. That's what makes this case tough. But there's a difference between him being a, 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 vigil, a neighbor who's a, vi who's a vigilant. I mean, mm -hmm. but there's a difference between that and a vigilante. Yeah. And no one, I don't think that you, if you ask people, would you want George Zimmerman running around your neighborhood deciding who can be there and who can't? Who wants him as your neighborhood watch person? It sounds like 70 something percent of people do. <laughs> I think if you have small children or if there have been a lot of burglaries and you care categorize your neighborhood, was yeah. shot I'm talking about other people that live in the neighborhood, <laughs> that other people, and if you categorize your neighborhood as unsafe, he called on garage doors being open, on kids playing in the street. Yeah, the flip side of that is, have you ever heard neighborhood watch going this far? That's the problem a lot of people have with this. No, he's only never gone this far. That's the problem. This is something he did all the time. This was someone who was a guest in the neighborhood. But the other question is, <laughs> why is one private citizen stopping another private citizen and demanding they give an account for their presence in a place where they think they're going to Jury's reached the verdict. Looks like they've got a verdict. Let's go over to our in-studio jury. All right, they're deciding the bold question tonight. Was George Zimmerman playing cop the night of the killing? Let's go one by one. Juror number one. Yes. Juror number two, yes. Juror number three, yes. Juror number four, no. Juror number five, yes. Juror number six, yes. Juror number seven, yes. Juror number eight, no. Juror number nine, no. Juror number 10, yes. Juror number 11, yes. And juror number 12, yes. So it comes out nine to three. Kind of the reverse of the online poll, right? Absolute inverse. All right, let's go with one of our yeses first. I, I want to come over here, Denise, because she's a criminal justice major, so you know some of the terms, some of the lingo, but you voted yes. Absolutely, Ryan. The thing I have the issue with, it goes in line with what Natalie said. Listen to the language that George is using. L listen to how he described Trayvon as a suspect. The lay person does not speak like that, Ryan. My undergraduate degree is in criminal justice as well. I don't speak like that on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. I think he has issues, and he really wanted to act out law, okay. the, being a law enforcement officer. All right. Makes, it makes sense. We said it earlier. Just because we're lawyers doesn't mean we use legal speak everywhere we go. All right, Jordan Bray. One of the things that I think about what George is, is and what he's been about, he's like a Budinsky. He's a... Uh, uh, of the busybody in the neighborhood. I mean, who calls 911 or the cops 40 times as a grown man on people with the garage doors open and the kids playing in the, in the yard? But you don't believe he was playing cop? Absolutely not. I think that what had happened is that he took um, the situation and escalated due to the lack of his uh, uh, knowledge, and that's why he was in the situation that he's in now. Okay, and you also voted no. I said you were struggling with this one tonight. I was, because I don't believe initially, you know, he was playing cop. I think okay. the situation, you know, it got worse. It, got, it, it became a bad situation once he followed him after he's told him not to. All right, and if the jurors in the Zimmerman trial believe the same thing, hey, Vinny, you're looking at manslaughter, maybe not guilty. Absolutely. It, it's, it's interesting because it's all about the mindset of George Zimmerman that night. Where was he mentally? What was his perspective, his point of view? And whether or not it was reasonable. <laughs> yeah, that's what the jury's going to decide. I'm going to decide great experts tonight. But you know what? An even better jury tonight. Thanks so much, folks, for helping us out. All right, showbiz tonight will be seen at a special time at midnight Eastern, and that is at 9 p.m. Pacific. And we've got a special edition of Nancy Grace next. That's it for HLN After Dark.